Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if superconductors radiate electromagnetic waves. Superconductors are really cool because once they get past a certain critical temperature, their internal electrical resistance drops to zero. Not just close to zero or really low resistance, but I mean actually zero. They have no internal resistance. And what that means is that once you start a current flowing inside of them, that current will continue flowing indefinitely, even once you remove the source of power. In fact, that's how MRI machines work. The magnets in MRI machines are actually electromagnets made of superconducting material. But once they apply the voltage to start the current flowing, they remove it and the current keeps flowing. So basically you have a permanent electromagnet. As long as they keep the superconductor below the critical point, the current will just keep flowing. Let me show you how I can get the current flowing in my superconductor here. So once I get it below the critical temperature, I can put it near a magnet, and that will create eddy currents inside of it. These eddy currents create their own magnetic fields that I can measure with this magnetic paper here. So I'm gonna take it off from the track right now. Now let's measure and see if we can see the same pattern on there. So I take it off. You can see in the middle how there's a line in the middle of it, just like there's a line in the middle of the track here. So you can see that line. I can walk away and come back hours later or days later, and as long as the superconductor is still cold, these magnetic fields are still here, which means the electrons are still flowing. Okay, let's see if it's still there. Yep, the pattern's still there with that line down the middle. But if electrons are flying around in a circle, that means that they're accelerating. Because if you remember from your physics classes, anything that's orbiting is actually under constant acceleration. So particles that are moving around in an orbit should radiate. This is what happens in particle accelerators. You see radiation coming off the particle accelerator. This radiation is called synchrotron radiation. In fact, this is one of the reasons we knew that electrons don't orbit around the protons of an atom. Because if they were actually orbiting, they'd be under constant acceleration, which means that they would radiate energy. And if they radiated energy, they would fall down to a lower energy state, and eventually they'd spiral down to the center of the atom. But that leads me to a question. Well, in a superconductor, electrons are continually flowing around in a circle. So does that mean that they're continually radiating energy? And wouldn't that mean that eventually they're going to stop their current flowing? So can the current really flow forever in a superconductor? At first thought, it seems that the eddy currents in superconductors should give off radiation themselves because they're under constant acceleration. But on closer inspection, we see that they don't. And one of the reasons they don't is not because of some weird quantum mechanical effect, but it's actually because of a classical effect. And it's that any ring of uniform charge that's rotating will not radiate energy. Let me show you. In order to show you what I mean, I have just an aluminum ring here, and I have it on a turntable, and I'm gonna charge up this aluminum ring with this Wimshurst machine right here. So I'm just gonna point this at it, and the charges will accumulate on the ring, so it's gonna be at a higher voltage than the ground. So you can see when I turn this on, And then I'm just gonna be measuring the voltage in the air close to the ring. So first let's see what it looks like to spin a symmetrical ring like this. Let's see what the voltage looks like. So you can see when I have a regular ring spinning, we don't see very much of a signal. It's pretty much just a straight white noise. But if I add some magnets to the spinning ring here, the charges aren't going to accumulate evenly, so they're gonna be more on one side than the other. Now let's see what the signal looks like. So an electromagnetic signal is going out and getting caught by the probe here, ranging between a couple volts. So you can see the voltage goes down, then back up, down, then back up regularly. But now, if I make it only the ring here, so now it's a steady charge. <laughs> Ouch, when I shock it, it goes back up. <laughs> so now it's just a steady charge on here. Now there's no signal whatsoever. So when we have a ring of uniform charge, you can see that there's no cyclic signal. So the reason that a uniformly charged ring doesn't radiate energy is because there's no change in the electric or magnetic field through time. So there's no energy radiated. 
and it turns out the electric current in a superconductor is actually the most uniform charge current that you can get because all of the electrons are in Cooper pairs and they're in a single quantum state. So they're actually perfectly uniformly distributed in the current loop. This means that they can't radiate energy. So that means that superconductors can keep their infinitely flowing current as long as it's not AC. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.